Hello everyone! Welcome to my stop all up along this amazing hop. You should be coming here from Miranda's um, YouTube channel and I'm sure she has a lovely, lovely project for you. This is the cut file that I'm choosing to use. It's a llama! And actually Virginia like specifically made it for me so I had to use it, right? So I'm going to start by coloring the llama's little lashes black with a Sharpie marker and then I'm going to just set that off to the side and we'll come back and add her eye in at the end because this is most definitely a girl llama. So I'm going to back all the cup, this cut file using Coco Vanilla Studios Endless Summer Collection. I'm going to back it with all these beautiful corals and aqua colors because those are my favorite colors in the history of ever. And this layout is all about me. So I, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Facebook, I kind of have a love affair with llamas. I think that they're awesome. They're so stinking cute. Who doesn't love llamas? I know there's lots of people that don't, but I do. I love them. I think that they're just adorable and cute and sweet and they're like the best ever. Oh! Isn't that fabulous? That was my husband showing me something on Instagram, and I replied to him and said, I'm recording, so don't show me stuff. So I'm just going to back this cut file, um, which is kind of tedious. I'm going to use all these gorgeous shades of aqua and corally green, minty green kind of looking. And, um, yeah, I'm going to back all the little pieces. So I'm going to do all the pieces of her... Uh, little blankets and I'm going to do all the cute little flowers and all the different parts of the little flowers. I'm just picking through this. And then, oh the puppy, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a YouTube video so I have to add a puppy. Oy, oy, oy. My boys, children, I tell you. Anyway, I feel like I shouldn't have left this much of me back in the cat file in, but I think I only leave in the part with the flower and the leaves. So you can see here, I'm just flipping my cut file over, putting it on top of the paper that I want it uh, to be. So in this case, it's like the green that I want on the other side. And then I'm just going to fussy cut around it, glue it down, and then I'll have an orange flower with green leaves. So that's my plan, just to continue and do this entire cut file. It took me a little bit of time. I think I turned off my camera and watched TV for a while while I did it and then by the magic of YouTube it's done and I went into my sequin stash and I found some cute adorable sequins that matched and you can see how I did the llama to be this like brown color with the wood grain paper so that it totally matched the alpaca llama in my thing and I know someone's gonna say an alpaca is not a llama and I know that but for, for our purposes today, I wanted them to look alike. Llama, alpaca. Okay, so I, you saw me kind of shift my cut file over. I cut her a little too big um, because you can see her little ears sticking up off the top. Uh, it's not going to bother me, and I'm just going to leave it there. Even when I put it in the album, I'll just leave it there because really it's just like a teeny tiny little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. And the album cover will cover it so that it doesn't get smashed or hurt or anything. It'll be just fine. So I'm going to decide on placement for my photos. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges and the edges. And I cut two photo mats for my pictures. I'm going to go ahead and add those photo mats down. Look how cute she is. She's so cute. I adore this cut file. Actually, if I'm perfectly honest, I adore all of Virginia's cut files. I think that they are fabulous. If you've never taken a peek at her store before, you simply must go over and take a look. She has some of the most unique, fun cut files. Um, I had kind of gotten away from cut files, and then she started to give away free ones, and she made some free ones for the Speaker Mom Scraps shop, and I was just really inspired to actually cut a bunch of them. So you'll be seeing more layouts using Virginia's cut files because I bought a bunch from her shop and um, she gives them away for free in her Facebook group uh, every Sunday. So that's Sunday New Zealand time, 
which is, I think, Monday, U.S. time. We had some fun time zone stuff going on for this hop as well. You should have seen the conversations happening um, behind the scenes. So I'm going through all these die cuts, and I'm going to pick a couple of them that I really want to use. So this was taken at a local kind of petting zoo near uh, our home. Well, it's about an hour away, I guess. And there was all these funny, like, superhero bright red things in the background. That's Fitz. He's on my here with me in my room where I'm trying to hide from my kids. So if you hear jingle, jingle, say hi, Fitz. Um, he's trying to be a YouTube, famous YouTube puppy, like his brother, Cooper. Uh, but he doesn't bark, so that's cool. <laughs> so I'm just going through all of my embellishments. I've decided that I want to do kind of a diagonal from the top right to the bottom left. I'm going to embellish with the little clouds and the little banners and cover up the yellow and red superhero banners that were in the background that I didn't want in my fo in my page, not my photo. Well, they weren't. They were in the photo. I didn't want them there, but so I'm going to cover them all up. And now I'm going to add some wood buttons and some sequins. I didn't want to cover up more of this llama than I absolutely had to. And of course, because most of the work for this layout was in the part of the layout where I had to, where I back to the cut file, right? So I'm giving everything a little bit of vintage photo distress ink on the back. So I'm just inking the edges of all of these little die cuts with vintage photo distress ink and I'm adding them uh, to all the different places that I had laid out. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, this is kind of the part of the layout where I get at for a loss of words. So let's talk about who's next. Um, after you leave me and my beautiful llama, you're going to head over to Daisy's channel. Uh, I love Daisy. She's the best. You're going to have so much fun on her channel. I just know it. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I decided I wanted to outline my whole page, but I didn't want to just do black. I wanted something else, another color. So what I did was, was I grabbed one of these Nuvo glitter markers, which I just got. This is like a gold glitter one. And at first it looks a little like, eh, but hold on. <laughs> so I have the black eye of my llama. And so I do want to bring in some black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with the gold and then I'm going to do more outlining with a black pen on top of it, which is just going to create like, it looks like a little bit of just like a gold shadow behind my black outlining. And I think it turns out really, really nice. I like it. It does, it did need the black. Like I couldn't have just done the gold. It wouldn't have looked right. It would have looked a little bit odd. But by doing the black over top of the gold, it gave it that perfect little, little bit of color while simultaneously outlining the edges of my entire spread. So be sure to head over and check out Daisy's layout from here. And also there is a fabulous coupon code. You can save 10% off in Virginia's shop along with this hop until the end of March and you'll find that code at the end of my video. And yeah, I would love to see everything you guys create with these cut files because they're so beautiful and there are so, so many of them. You're going to get a really nice peek at a lot of the cut files in the shop along this hop today because I think we know some of us chose the same ones, but they're so beautiful. So here's up close and personal of my gorgeous llama. And there is that coupon code you can use to get 10% off your purchase and some close-ups. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of the hop, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.